so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God
like you I wanna say what you say I wanna do what you do I wanna go where you tell me to I wanna be just like you I wanna say what you say I wanna do what you do I wanna go where you tell me to I wanna be just like you Three months after the Israelites left Egypt, they came to Mount Sinai. God had chosen the Israelites as his special people and he wanted them to understand what the relationship should look like. He planned to make a covenant or an agreement with them. Moses went up to the mountain. God told him, this is what you should tell the Israelites. If you listen carefully to me and you keep my covenant, you will be my people. Moses went back to the people and told them what God had said. All the people responded, We will do all that the Lord has spoken. So Moses went back up to the mountain. The Lord spoke to Moses, I am going to come in a thick cloud. I want the people to hear me speak to you so that they will believe you. Moses went back down the mountain and got the people ready to meet God. He brought them out of the camp and they stood at the foot of the mountain. God came down on Mount Sinai in a fire. Smoke covered the mountain. God said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Then God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The first four commandments told the Israelites what it looks like to have a relationship with God. Do not have other gods besides me. Do not make an idol for yourself. Do not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The last six commandments told the Israelites what it looks like to have a relationship with one another. Honor your father and your mother. Do not murder. Keep your marriage promises. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not want what belongs to someone else. When the people heard God talking to Moses, they were afraid. Do not be afraid, Moses said. God wants you to fear him so that you will not sin. Moses went further up the mountain, and for 40 days, God gave Moses many more laws. When God was finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two stone tablets that he had written on with his own finger. God's law shows us what he requires. Our sin separates us from a holy God, but Jesus came to bring us back to God. When we trust in Jesus, he takes away our sin and gives us his perfect righteousness. This ten finger craft might help us to remember the ten commandments that God gave to his people through Moses. You will need some pencils, a glue stick, scissors, and the worksheet. You can find the link in the description. Start by colouring in the images. As you colour, you can read and start to learn the Ten Commandments.
The next step is to fold down the dotted lines that are in the center of each commandment tablet. Now you can cut them all out individually, keeping them folded in half while you do. Make sure to cut around the outer grey line. That will give you a bit of extra space to put some glue in the next step. Keep practicing and learning the Ten Commandments while you're working. Now it's time to grab some glue and put it around the outer edge carefully on the inside of each tablet. Once you've done that, you can fold it over and glue it into place. Make sure you don't put any glue on the bottom edge because that's where your fingers will go. Do the same for all ten pieces. Now you can put one on each of your fingers in the order that God gave them to Moses. Have no other gods but the Lord. Do not worship any idols. Keep God's name holy. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Honour your parents. Do not murder. Be faithful in marriage. Do not steal. Do not tell lies about others. Do not cover other people's things. The Ten Commandments show us how to relate to God and to each other. Just like it was for Moses and the Israelites, God's wisdom helps us to live a good and right life for Him today.